Hi everyone, uh, I'm Mark with Macroscopic Solutions. Uh, I want to film a brief video on some of the diffusers we've been putting up on our website that have been catching a lot of interest. Uh, some of the questions we've been getting is do they actually produce light themselves? Um, how do they work? And basically what kind of results can you get? So today what I want to do is uh, shoot something that's very, very difficult, which is my eye. And I'm going to do all of this uh, on my own. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the diffuser that we built for the MT-2040X flash. So that flash um, comes with basically this little ring here. I have a customized one because of the, the some of the equipment that, that we sell. So basically it has uh, the flash brackets have a custom plate. So they'll screw it directly onto the diffuser, whereas the one you'll traditionally get, you'll utilize this ring and you'll just clamp it on, spin it, and it'll sit there. And these little wings will cancel out direct light. The light will enter these little holes here and they'll hit the inner rim and then they'll project forward. So there's no direct light uh, that you'll get in these images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on automatic. And I know that this is going to look funny because I'm shooting my own eye. Uh, however, you'll see... You'll, you'll be able to see exactly what I can do. So really, I just kind of key this up. I kind of know where my eye goes now, but um, basically I, I will sit in front of this lens and what you'll do is you'll see an image over here. So what I'm gonna do is take one without the diffuser and then one with. So I'm gonna turn this back to manual. I'm gonna turn the flash on. And I'm go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off of the diffuser And I'm just going to shine light directly into my eye in this picture. I'm going to be blind for a second, but you're also going to see uh, what a significant difference that these diffusers really do make. So I'll close this. I'll open up a quick preview. And I'll sit here. And I'll take this picture. So that's a picture. You see this white blob here? What I'll do is I'll show this afterwards, but there's a white blob and that's basically what's causing that glare. So what I'm gonna do is tighten this back onto this diffuser. And all these diffusers are held onto the front of the lens with a little gasket. It'll sit right there. This one's designed to sit right on the MPE 65 millimeter. And I'll take another picture. You can see it's not necessarily in focus. I don't exactly know where I am, but you can already see we have a really, really warm light. You can see how much it's changed, and you can also see that there's no no direct glare at all. This diffuser pretty much cancels that out entirely. Let me just see if I can get a picture here that's going to be... There we go. That one's better. And you can see that the, the only minor glare is just basically a little bit off the diffuser, but for the most part, we've got a pretty good shot of my eye at 2x magnification. So the way these things are designed is... Uh, this one is designed to work with the flash if you have it. If you don't and you use external lights, you have another one that will basically sit right on the front of the um, the MPE 65. This one's this one's not necessarily finished, but this one is here that has the gasket. Basically, you'll just slide it in, and then it, it it's pretty snug. We also have some diffusers that are designed for our micro kit, which basically uh, utilizes these objectives here, which you'll see, and you'll just fit this on right over the top. Now the reason why they're cupped at the bottom and they're flat is so that if you use a rotary stage and it's sort of, let's say you use these mechanical devices that'll sort of pull a little bit too close, uh, it'll give you some wiggle room. So basically your stage might not hit the diffuser, it has some room to slide under it, which gives you a lot more flexibility when shooting. So really the, the key rules here is don't shine direct light onto your sample. Uh, all you, all you want to do is you want to shine your light off these diffusers and it will reflect right back onto your sample and that will provide really, really well diffused light. Uh, thank you so much for listening and, and thank you for choosing Macroscopic Solutions.